Let's balance the equation SO2 plus Cl2 plus H2O it gives us H2SO4 and HCl. So the first thing we need to do is count the atoms up. That looks like this. So really you need to be careful here in the reactants with the oxygens. We have two here and one here. That gives us three. And in the products we have two hydrogens here and one here. So two plus one gives us three as well. Make sure you count those up correctly. So I'll leave the chlorine until last. It's by itself. If I change its coefficient, that won't change the number of oxygens, sulfurs, or hydrogens. I think what I'll do is try to get the oxygen to an even number by multiplying the water by two. So let's update the oxygens and the hydrogens. So now oxygen, we have two plus two. That gives us four oxygens. And hydrogen two times two, that's four. A little bit better. At this point, I think if we put a 2 in front of the HCl for the chlorine, 1 times 2, that would balance the chlorines. And let's update the hydrogens. We have 2 here plus 2 times the 1. That gives us 4. And we're done. This equation is balanced. I think the key here probably is first make sure you count up the oxygens correctly on this side, the hydrogens and the products. And then sometimes it's a good idea to try to get an even number like we did with the oxygens here in order to balance the equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for sulfur dioxide plus chlorine gas plus water gives us sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching.